Hi, John Lay here from Talent Delivery with another Hot Take Review. Today's Hot Take is on Media Defines Net Exam Platform. Well, if any of you have been following me for the last nine years, you know I love this platform. Net Exam uh, was founded all the way back uh, 15, 16 years ago, and they made a strategic decision to focus on extended enterprise and more specifically to focus on channel and partner learning. They ignored the sirens of employee and HR type deployments, even though they could probably meet the requirements sometime and just put all of their eggs in the channel and partner basket. And man, it's worth it. It's worth it. Now, 15 years, they've got the, the deepest, I think the deepest partner in channel and the best partner in channel uh, learning system in the world. They, they pushed the product further because all of their clients, they have big software clients, dealers, manufacturers, franchises all of their all of their big clients uh, are are driving the research and innovation into their products so they never are creating something that you're not going to need uh, if you're in partner and channel every step every innovation it has broad application maybe not to all uh, but, but most of their uh, most of their clients so what are some of these special things from channel and partner well uh, first off uh, they have an extreme integration to partner management uh, systems or PRM systems, including Salesforce, Microsoft Dynamics, and Oracle Fusion. And uh, those uh, are rare. Uh, Salesforce, sure, but uh, the other two are rare from LMS providers, but they're really big in channel and partner. And they're not just into the, the normal Salesforce. They're into the partner management uh, pieces of the portal, which also have uh, things to do with uh, like rewards and benefits and level department and lead flow. And so all those things that run an actual partner or somebody that's acting in your name that's not your employee, uh, you know, they have access to all that data and they use all that data and bring it into the learning management system to spin up new partners, new portals, manage training activities, feed in data to support those different rewards and, and benefit levels of partners. Uh, so it, it's pretty slick, the, the level of integration that they do. Could other LMSs do some of this? Probably, but they don't even know the questions to ask or what data exists in there because they're not experts in the PRM uh, or in the partner uh, learning standpoint. And then they also have uh, a really strong uh, mobile app. Uh, so they have uh, they can bring the learning out to the field. So in many chart partner and channel uh, institutions or dealers, they're out in the field, they're in the service areas, You know, they're not sitting at a desk. And so they have super strong apps that allow one, the learner for the learners, but two, for managers and for training managers to do observations of uploaded things, of, of uh, taking videos as you're doing observations with rubrics that you can grade and assign and share these things. They have one of their apps. Uh, you can uh, record a sales pitch. It's called Video Challenges. So you could record a sales pitch or really any type of pitch. And then AI transcribes that video and then... And what it does is as you get more and more of these videos, it looks to see, based on grading, which videos are the best, which are manually graded. And then it looks to see the words that are common or repeated in the transcripts of those. And that allows uh, for future, after a certain number of, uh, of these video submissions, for AI to take over and actually do the, the grading. Uh, from a, a reporting and analytics standpoint, it's all based on running a channel and partner institution. So sometimes you just have one partner, but a lot of times your partner might have a whole bunch of dealers. So, you know, like a Ford dealer, you know, might be the same family might own 25 of them across a couple of different states. So to be able to look at that level of complexity, chains of partners, partners themselves based on location and they got all the dashboards uh, that you need to be able to, to manage that from a data standpoint of what's going on in the training, but then bringing all that PRM data in and then looking to see what impact uh, is actually happening uh, from the training inside uh, your, 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 your network. They have a super strong uh, social engine that they built that's integrated right into the system that uh, kind of ties together uh, social and gamification and points and leaderboards and really a whole view of, uh, of, of, of driving that self user generated learning. And the, the use case that they see is, is that the different partners, say you're a partner for Dell and there's lots of different partners for Dell and you find an article that makes sense about, you know, deploying this, that, that, you know, in this particular situation, you could put that in the LMS and start aggregating this content. And that informal content then can be distributed throughout 
uh, the, the network. And so they're using social learning in a way to really get user generated content to, to do that. They have a nice integration with open badges. Uh, a lot of people say they have it, but you don't get to see it for there. It's just like, okay, you want to put this on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter, boom, boom, boom. It's on your thing. You just flip a switch, uh, and, and it goes. Uh, they do uh, really good uh, Get back to that API. When they built their application, they built the API first, and then they built their user interface layer. And that's really smart to do. A lot of organizations go the reverse. But what that allows them to do is they can just take that API layer and the LMS administration and just take that to company to company and just put new front ends on it. So they have a lot of their customers, their partners are such a big business inside of large organizations that they just put it in their own front end. They integrate that with their other data and tools and uh, resources that they provide these partners and then just feed it all in a headless LMS way. Uh, from uh, the LMS. They also integrate with virtual labs where you can practice in software and safe environments. They uh, have all the uh, currency, 28 different languages, and they can take uh, globalization currency or global currencies, any global currency, and uh, turn that into uh, uh, turn that into to revenue. So I could probably keep going because they're such a deep product, but uh, just love this solution because it's just focus in the perfect example of what I talk about that when you pick your punch and you, you focus on a segment of the population and you're disciplined about it, your research and development and your pace of innovation kicks up and the value that you provide your current customers uh, picks up and the easier it is to find new customers. Uh, NetExam is the embodiment of that strategy and channel and partner. And if you are in uh, channel and partner learning, I encourage you to, to take a deeper look at these folks. All right, there you have it. There's another hot take from John Lay. I hope to see you on the next. You can find more of our independent resources at talentedlearning.com.